was it like working for K and B effects? What was it like working for them? Well, I worked for them for 10 years. They were, uh, Look, it was one of my goals to actually work for that studio. They're, yeah, it's, they were very... They're revered. League, um, yeah, and... Big league stuff, people. They're totally big league. At the time that I joined them, they were uh, at the top, but they weren't the top yet. So it was really fun that they were uh, that horror genre, hardcore um, workshop. Mm. So they had a small studio. It was oh, geez, not this small, but it was probably four times this size. And uh, it was just a real sort of garage shop, monster shop, really awesome. And my first job with them was from Dust Till Dawn 2, and I think there's another one called Black Cat Run. So, mm. um, and then it was faculty and a few others that I started with them. Mm. Um, they're known for The Walking Dead fame and Kill Bill and anything with Tarantino and Rodriguez. They've done all their shows. Did so. you ever work with Greg Nick Terrier on Walking Dead? I didn't. I was here. So I left just as they were starting the pre-production of it. So hmm. I my last show with them was The Pacific. Oh, okay. So that was the big HBO war hmm. show. Hmm. Uh, I came over here with two other um, Americans from the shop and we met up with Mm. a team uh, an australian team uh, mm. jason baird his shop mm. okay. and um so yeah we were here for that ended up winning an emmy mm -hmm. which is really great okay another question um yeah. um did which film projects did you like the most that you've been on the ones that i like the most well usually the ones i like the most are movies you probably haven't seen uh the big ones the big films tend to be a little bit constricted and especially for design stuff you don't really get a, a chance to kind of put your own interpretation into anything the fun jobs were like hostile too um, we were treated like rock stars on that one so hmm. we we behaved that way too so you can imagine that considering yeah. the all the gore effects all that the you gore had. effects uh, Eli Roth was uh, really awesome with us yeah he, he would often come down from you know being on set and have a stack of DVDs for us to look at. Mm, I see. And it was mostly like Italian horror films. Because, oh, have you seen this one? Have you seen those? And I was like, like I like horror movies, but he's like, he's way deep into that. So. Mm, I think we all are. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was a really fun one. Another really fun one that you may have never heard of is a movie called Spiders. Um, it, uh, super, super schlocky. Have you ever seen, um, what's it called? The Kingdom of Spiders? I have seen that. That was a creepy one from the 70s. Mm. I loved it because it was the real deal. Mm. You know, so. mm. um, but Spiders was space spiders. There was some sort of accident that happened on the space shuttle. Mutant spiders bites an, ast uh, an astronaut. The astronauts crash the space shuttle into Earth. And then these spiders mutate and become like 30 foot, 10 meter wide spiders mm. that attack a town hmm. super fun um who inspired you at the beginning before you started it you know getting interested yeah, so in it um who inspired you to do special effects makeup for productions yeah i get this question asked a lot so it's an easy one for me it all started with american werewolf in london um and the work that rick baker did on that one hmm. totally inspired me and so from that one it's he, he went into uh, Thriller, so if you remember the Michael Jackson Thriller video. Oh yeah. So he did all the work on that. And so that was all around the same time. I was oh, around 10 years old, I guess. So the Star Wars, the horror of the 80s and all that inspired me. And it was just, it was a whole sort of, I won't say, it's a genre of like almost like music really. It's horror is almost like heavy metal in a way. Mm, okay. And I just love both of those. They kind of. But um, then there was a magazine called Fangoria. So I learned about Rick Baker and horror movies. And then I was like, oh, what's this magazine called Fangoria? And I opened it up and then it had like tutorials from different artists. And uh, one of them, my other one that I don't often mention is uh, John Caglione Jr. He, he's a huge inspiration too, so mm. um, yeah. Um, how much do you charge your students when they attend your workshops and stuff? I know you have a workshop that you do. I have three different workshops that I do. So in between film jobs, 
Uh, I, I have three different ones, and one of them is called Bloodlines, Bladders, and Blow-Up Heads. Uh, and that's basically what it is. I teach how to make blood, fake blood, uh, how to make little blood rigs, like with syringes and tubes. And then it goes into showing you how to rig a prop to bleed, so if you need an effect to make that bleed. Or cut someone's throat, all the way to blowing up a zombie head. There's one of my zombie heads that I blow up just over there. Hmm. So it's a full day course. That's about 350, so it's a one day course. My intermediate one is called Short Shop hmm. Workshop, which is a full face prosthetic. Hmm. And they learn how to do a life cast, sculpt, mold, and manufacture foam latex, hmm. whatever they want. Doesn't matter what creature it is. I don't gear it towards film work. We can talk about film during it, but I'm all about just the art of it and you know the process. Got it. And then the last one, oh, that one's about I think that was 2,500 or three grand. And then the last one is advanced prosthetics, which is a step further for that one. So it's a full head character creature weirdo person if they want to do. Mm. It's a 16 week course, mm. and that's uh, five and a half grand. So, mm, yeah. I see. Yeah. So um, I see that you you know a great deal about working on film projects in America. Yeah. So why did you come out here to Australia to work on film projects over here? Well, the story goes back to the Pacific. So I came over on the Pacific. I, I traveled quite a bit in my career when I was based out of LA. We would go to Africa, to Europe, England, uh, you know, Czech Republic. Where else have you been? Uh, and then I was asked to go to Australia. And so they're like, the bosses, Greg McIntyre specifically, asked if anyone wanted to go to Australia for a job. I volunteered. I said, how long for? They said, one year. And I was like, ooh, that's a long time. Uh, but I said yes anyway. And uh, I came over. While I was here, I met my future wife. Oh. And then we wrapped up and I, start, I headed back home and the sort of the climate of the film industry there was sort of at a lull kind of like it is right now and i had an opportunity to go hang with my future wife here mm. in australia so i mm. did so i was like oh, i'm gonna go back mm. hang with her and then jobs started sort of springing up from there and um, i became a permanent resident within that year so okay cool